Hello everyone, this is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. I've played two holes unfortunately because <laughs> there was a lady golfer that insisted that she was going to follow me the, all the way around. And I said, no, it's all right, I'll just go off from you. So after two holes, I've had to uh, abandon ship and say, look, I, I'd rather be on my own here because I want to do videos on YouTube and everything like that. And she said, oh, that's all right. You can go by yourself and everything. Nice lady and everything, just uh, not... Uh, Where did I put my, uh, where's the scroll cut? Here it is, and the piece of paper, I need that. So it tells me exactly where I'm going here. Because there's work on the, sorry, this is John from John Hutton Golf Channel at Barney Castle Golf Club, I should have said that. I think I probably said it, I don't know. I'm, I'm all over the place because I've, I've already played two holes, so we're going to the third. But there's work on the eighth tee. So what's happened is, yeah, they've cordoned it off. Next tee this way. Which is the ninth tee. Uh, but you, you play it in different order, right, so you play the ninth. I played the first and the second, and then you play the ninth. Okay, so, I did all right, I played the first. I played the first hole, which was a short part of four, 276 yards, I parred that. So that's a four. Right, here we are on the ninth. Uh, that's a par four. And that one was a par five. I get a six on that. So, yeah, I've, I've done all right. I've done all right. I'm plus one through two. Um, the, par four, the par four was only a short 276 one. And that one there was a short par five. But it was up the bank. And it was quite a good hole, actually. Quite a good hole. 476 yards and I got a six. Right, it's match play against myself. What stroke index is that? No shots on either one. Oh yes, I got a stroke on there. I got a stroke on there. So nothing on there puts me AS, and on there a stroke makes me AS. So I'm still AS. It's match play against myself. This is a par 344 yards. No, it's not. It's the ninth. This is the ninth tee. So. The ninth is 470 yards. Let's see what this says. I'm a little bit confused, number nine, 470. Yeah, so I want me to watch on number nine. 466 yards, that's better. Okay, um, so we're caution out. Right. <laughs> Sorry, they've got works, you see what they've done is that because they've got works on the eighth green, they've shut it off, so the course is working in a different order. One and two, it works fine together. But now, it's a case of all the holes get mixed up. So it's, I'm playing the ninth now, and then they've got uh, a temporary hole. So yeah, but no, so far the first two holes, Barley Castle have been very, very nice, very good. Yeah, it's this oldish lady, she wanted to play with us and everything, that the first said, look, I'm, I'm doing YouTube videos and stuff like that, I, I, I want to, you know, really, I'm sorry to say this, I says, but really, do you want to be on camera or not? And she said, no, and I says, well, I'd much rather play by myself, to be honest, if you don't want to be on the channel, so, yeah, it's ended up like this, here we go, driver out, par five. It's fine, it's down there. It's down there, I don't think it's... <sighs> Smash the tea again. I don't think it's anywhere near where the... Um, the trees are. But I think I might have a block shot into the green there. I might have a block shot. But we'll see, we will see. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I, I had to say to us, look, I'm... I'm I do YouTube videos and stuff, uh, they're, not, they're not marvellous, but I do them for family, friends, everything else, and I, I really want to do it to show people Barnard Castle and everything. Uh, if you don't mind being on the channel, then okay, that's fine, but we'll go together and everything, but she said, no, no, I'd, I'd rather not, she's quite, quite, quite a shy woman, to be honest, she says, right, okay, well, is it okay if I just go ahead and uh, 
get on with it and unfortunately I had to do that. Um, nice woman and everything but different sort of golfer to me. Different sort of golfer. She's, she's not uh, taking everything deadly serious like me. Like trying to get all the yardages perfect. She's just hitting the ball and uh, I says no, no, no. It's just, <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm like trying to get exact yardages and I'm trying to have match play against myself and she's there for a bit of fun, so it's a little bit different. I, I am playing for fun, but this is fun to me, competing against myself. But no, Barnet Castle, so far the first two holes have been really nice. Been really, really nice. And that's the, uh, that's, that's the par five there up the hill. Second hole. All right. It's okay. So yeah. We've got a, a, it looks like there's a lot of female golfers playing here. A lot of female golfers. In fact, I hope that two ball catches up with her. Because, um, in all honesty, I, th I think she wanted a bit of a chat, to be honest. I feel so guilty now because she's, I, I, I don't want to presume anything, but I think she's like a single woman. And she's, she's just here for the social side and uh, I feel a bit guilty to be honest, I feel bloody awful. I should have maybe said, you know, come and join us, I hope that two ball catches up and she says come and join me. I feel bloody awful about it to be honest. <sighs> Crack that five hybrid. It's right down the bank. So yeah, um, she's just the old fashioned type who just wants a chat and <laughs> a cup of tea and, and you know what, if I was feeling all right and I, I didn't want to show you barn and castle and everything and she wanted to be on the channel, if she did want to be on the channel, I would have done it, but I, I, I feel awful now. I feel like I should have said, no, forget about the video and I feel bloody awful. I hope that two ball catches up because they're two f older ladies as well and, and joins her and her. And you know, because that's what golf's about, man. It's about having a chat and it's about socialising and everything. But at the, s the same time, I want to do my channel and I want to show people about a castle and I want to compete and I want to actually have some form of competition against myself. And I kind of do that. I kind of yell and sh I kind of be having, you know, trying to motivate myself and yelling and shouting when. There's another woman there, oh, right. Now, I wasn't aware of this, but there's a stream down here. Um, I, I wasn't quite aware of that. We'll see, we'll see, I'm, I'm hopefully not in, but this is something I was unaware of. You can't, you can't see it from, um, Oh no, I'm not. I'm way up on the bank. I'm all right. I'm fine. You can't actually see this um, stream from down the bottom there, but from the top there. Sorry, but th this is the same stream as over the first hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the first hole over there. Have I've got you? I've got you. I have got you. So yeah, um, I had to do two holes without any footage. But I'm still as we stand. Um, I'm not sure if I get a shot here because I've just rushed off, as usual, being the idiot that I am. But, um, whoop. Here we go. Hopefully that's on. Yeah, um, 
That reckons 59. That reckons 59. I'm going to get up there and see what that says to the flag. It's uphill. 56.2. And the uh, the wind is quite strong as well today. So, yeah. I'm going to go 50. Where's my 56? How about 56? I'm just going to try and get it up there. And get it on the green and that'll be me for three and I'll be putting for, for birdie hopefully oh I've I've overhit that but it should be on the green still I've slightly um, yeah I slightly uh, thin that I slightly thinned it, but I should be all right. I like I'm, 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 that's the one area I'm no good at is the uphill slopes. I'm no good at the uphill slopes, and it's something I've really got to start working on because uh, I've messed that up. Oh, have I just messed it up? I'm all the way down the bloody bank. Oh, that was bad, that John. That was a bad, bad shot. Right, well I've had three, I've had up three up to that point. Uh, I don't know the course, so I've got to be too harsh. Wow, there's, there's gravestones and stuff, there's a gravestone there. So yeah, I can't be too harsh on myself, but at the same time, it wasn't a great shot that. I'm going to have to go 50, there's be 50, 50, 50. 58 and try and just pitch it up now. Made a big mistake there, mind. Wasn't good, was not good. And that's all right. That's good, that's good. I'll take that. And now I'm putting for uh, the paw. I'm not sure if I get a shot here. I'm not entirely certain if I get a shot here, but if I do, great, I've won the hole. If not, it's a half, if I can put this in. Oh. Well, it's a, um, it's a six, isn't it? It's a six, I don't know if I get a shot or what, but um, Right She said you go left now uh, Hold on a minute I'll get the um, I'll get my scorecard out Where, where's the So after the ninth you play the tenth, so the tenth, I'm presuming, is down this way. What holds that over there? Is that the tenth? I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I'm not too sure if this is, is this is the tenth, but we'll have a look and have a check. Yeah, this is the tenth. This is the tenth hole, 430 yards, right. Do I get a stroke on there? Do I get a stroke on there? Let's have a look. Number 10. Number 9 I played, wasn't it? Stroke index 10, so I get a shot. So, yeah, I got a 6 there. Still a yes. Okay. Um, the 10th. The 10th is stroke index 1, so I get a shot. Stroke index one, so I've got a shot here. Right, okay. It's all very confusing. This you're going on a, on a different. It's, it's, it's a route march. This you've got to be on, on the ball. It's not because we're following different different holes now. It's it's going one two, then it's gone nine ten. 
uh, because of the works on the eighth, and we've got a Templey Hall somewhere. Um, but at least we're playing a full 18, that's the main thing. Right. And I'm using these Callaway Warbirds, which I've heard good things about for distance in the winter. So yes, I'm using them. Wow. I'll just let these lads through. I don't think, oh no, I don't think I'm going to be bothering them. Here we go then. Ah. It's just where that tree is on the left. Should be all right. So far, so good. You'll see this green when you walk it off. Yeah. On the right. And then when you've done that, you head down there. Yeah. It goes back away and then back parallel again. But it's parallel. So the. Right. The, the, after this one, there's one coming back, another parallel one to this. Yeah. And the next two run parallel but in a different direction. Right. And then you walk over and you go through a wall. Go through a wall. After right. No worries. Next pair. So this pair. Yeah. Another pair parallel. And then you go yeah. right. Right, got you. That's great, thanks very much. So yeah, um, that's what I mean, she came home and she just wanted to tell us where the next holes are, she's just that sort. She's a nice woman, she's a really nice woman, and I just, oh, I feel so guilty. I should have just said there, you know, just come and join me, man. She said that she's only doing nine holes. She said, I said, oh, because, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting on and everything. I'm just going to do nine holes. I'm not doing the full course. Uh, oh, I, I just feel awful. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to say to her, well, just come and join us and have a, have a round. But she, it's... She's just not quite my type of golfer, you know. Not quite my type of golfer. I kind of, uh, I'm, 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 I'm all for having a chat and everything, but right. Well, my ball, I think, is somewhere down here on the left side. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Uh, although I'm not, I'm not seeing it. It was pretty, um... oh, here it is, here it is. It's been covered up by a leaf. Yeah, it was into the wind, up the slope. Bloody hell, it's a tough hole, this. It was 420-odd uh, yard yards, 420-odd yards. No wonder I've got a shot. I've still got 220, 20, by the time I get there, 224 probably to the green. I can see where the flag's at. God almighty, I haven't got a shot at it. I haven't got a shot at it. I'm just going to try and get it down there. In fact, I'm going to take a five hybrid because I cannot go for the green. I'm totally blocked off. It's a dog leg to the. Uh, oh, the wind's strong today, lad. Dog leg to the. Uh, Jesus, that bloke's right. The wind is strong up here. The, the pro said he said it's strong winds, man. Once you get up that hill, it's strong winds, and he's bloody right. Uh, Right, okay, let's just try and try get down there, John. That's all I can do. And the good thing, you know what it is with these war birds, I can actually see the ball in the flight. I can actually see them, believe it or not. 
Yeah, they're, 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 only, um, they're only 16 quid a dozen, right? 16 quid a dozen off Amazon. And a lot of people were saying, oh, the great winter balls for distance and the, you, you get the control on the greens as well. The Callaway ones, I says, well, I'm going to give them a go because I'm using my Volvox at a 30 odd quid. And I also went, I did go to Decathlon, by the way, and I bought some of those Incythus balls. I'm not using them today, I haven't put them in the bag. But they only had them in orange, they didn't have any yellows. They do on the internet, but they didn't have any yellows on um, the website, the, uh, the, the shop, sorry. In fact, they had very little gear, to be honest. They had balls, tees, pitch marks, a few, a few bits of clothing, and a few gloves, and that was it, really. They didn't have what they have on the internet. But no, um, I said to myself, right, well, I'll give these war birds a go. 16 quid off Amazon, next day delivery, got them. And they're actually performing, they're doing all right. They're doing okay, actually. They're not a bad ball. They are not a bad ball. <sighs> they haven't got the mat they finished, but I can see them in the flight better. I don't know what it is, I can actually see them in the flight better <sighs> than the Volvix. Mind saying that, I don't know exactly where it's placed here. It's somewhere over here. I can't see exactly where it's got. Oh, here it is. But yeah, they're nice and bright as well. They're nice bright balls. I like them. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. Right. Jesus, no wonder I've got a shot here. What a bloody par four this is. 430 yards up the slope. Wind in your pet. It's about a 16, 70 mile an hour wind, you know. It's not, it's not an out. And that reckons I've still got 78 yards to go in the watch. Be a bit less because the pin's at the front. 68. But so far, this is a nice golf club. Very mature and very undulating. And it's a challenge so far. Enjoying it. Enjoying it. Join Barnard Castle. I played this once when I was a little kid, about 12 year old, and that's it. But uh, I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this. 69 yards, here we go. Funny slope and all, so. That looks all right. <laughs> and it's, it's short. <laughs> I thought I hit that well, it's short. That tells you how strong the wind is. It's okay though, it's all right. I've had three to there. I'll probably put that and have two puts for par here. She comes up the fairway. Oh, I feel so guilty, you know. I really should say it to her, just join us, but she doesn't want to be on the channel. She don't want to be on the channel, so I can it, I can it. It's really good. I mean, even before the videos, you know, I was uh, I was doing it on my phone to, to watch me swing and everything. So it's not like, you know, this has happened out of nowhere. I, I was doing it to see me swing and everything. And uh, watch where my faults are and everything. And I think, you know what? Golfers should do this, you know. Just bring your phone out and just do three or four holes of yourself, playing a few shots and just watch yourself, honestly. You'll be amazed because you'll say to yourself, oh, I never thought I did that. I never thought I did this. And that's how I've improved because I used to watch other golfers and stuff, but it's not the same as watching yourself on camera and seeing exactly what you're doing. And then once you know what your fault is, when you can see in real life for yourself, you go, oh, bloody hell. I didn't realize I did that. I didn't realize I was going outside in. I didn't realize I was uh, cocking my wrists when I'm pitching and I didn't realise I was doing that when I was putting and... And sometimes I watch and I say, well, how have I hit it off left? Blah, 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 blah. And it's because I'm aiming there and stuff like that. I says, oh, well, that's because I'm aiming there. Or I had a slightly open stance and that's how you improve your game. By watching yourself. Go on, keep rolling. Ah. Well, I've got this for a half. It's not an ego thing. It's uh, it's genuinely to improve your game, you know.
Yeah, good half. Well done. She said the next hole runs parallel, so if it runs parallel, it'll be this hole here. So yeah, I've done all right there. I've come out of there absolutely brilliantly with the with the five, with a five, believe it or not. My God, that was a tough hole. 430 yards up the hill. The wind in your pet. 16 mile an hour wind in your pet. Uh, right, so it's, this one's next. Next tee. Which is the third tee. Right, okay. I'll check the scorecard when I get there to make sure I'm doing the right hole here. The, the, it's good that they're directing you in the right way. Ah, to win a map up here to raise platform. But that's that's not an issue. I'll I'll play off the raised platform. Not an issue, it's just a little par three. Get it out. So that was the tenth I played. Right, the t the tenth. We'll go to the tenth. Well, there's the tenth. And I'll put down a five, still a s. This is the third tee, stroke index 18, no shots. Okay. Stroke index 18, no shots. How many holes have I actually played here? Forty one. Right. I'm going to go for a nine with the wind helping. In fact, bugger it, I'm just going to go a little bit further forward. I'm just going to tear up here because there's tea, there's tea here. Um, yeah, I might just do that. I might just tear up here. Go nine nine right at it. It's a, a little pond on the left. Oh, it's gone off to the right. I mean, I'm fine. I'm, I'm going to have a pitch on, but from that sort of distance, I should have. I should have been. I should have been at the flag. I really should have been at the flag. I'm way off to the right. Uh, and that wasn't a good shot from me. I wasn't frightened of the water. That wasn't the issue. The water wasn't the issue. It was nowhere. I was no. I was going to be nowhere near the water, to be honest. The water is a good 20 yards short of the green, so that was never a factor. It's just a bad shot off to the right. Just a bad shot off to the right. But uh, no, don't worry. It'll be a little pitch on. But I haven't got a shot yet, and from 141 yards. Maybe 143 because I knocked the tee back a little bit. I should really have been. I should have really been on the uh, the putting surface from there. I really should have. It wasn't a good um, wasn't a good effort by me to be honest. Hit it well enough. Here I am, just here. Pin high, pin high, but off to the right, you know. Pin high. I should have attacked the pin and I should have been on the green. Anything that's sort of eight iron, seven iron, nine iron, I should be looking to hit the green. I really should from them distances, but uh, here I am. It's a little 56 pitch, and um, I'm hoping for a par from here. <sighs> Gotta put this stiff. How are you, John? Come on.
Oh, if it had a bit too hard, it's going to run on and oh, it's, 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 it's manky. It's manky to be honest. I, I actually hit that like I wanted to hit it. I've just hit it too hard. I've just hit it far too hard and that's mank. Absolute mank. And it looks like I'm going to be going. Um, it looks like I'm going to be going one down here. It, absolutely, it actually looks like I'm going to go one down because the pitch shots are just absolute garbage. They are mine, they're absolute garbage. Um, there's a sign for the next tee over there, I think. I think that's the next tee over there. You're not going to see me put, but there's the flag. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm one down. I'm going to go one down and uh, it's not good. It's not good. But um, this for a four then. Uh, nowhere near to five. It's a horrible monkey five. I didn't even trap that in. Uh, oh, it's just bloody wind, man. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough with this wind. Uh, right, what's this one? The fourth, the, the, the fourth tee. Right, okay. Uh, this is what we're playing now, the fourth. So yeah, I go one down, that was a monkey five, that mine, that was shocking, shocking by me. A relatively simple par three like that. Uh, the ninth, the tenth, the third, the fourth. Okay, so I'm playing the fourth now. 341 yards, stroke index eight, so I get a shot. That one was number three, which was five, minus one. So this is actually the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five. This is the equivalent of the sixth. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the sixth. But it's not, it's not the sixth. It's the fourth, which is 400, 341 yards, stroke index eight, okay. It's getting rather confusing. This it's getting rather confusing. It's like uh, it's like a lottery. It's, it literally is like a lottery. This what what hole's coming up next? Where we're going next? It's not um, it's not simple. Right, three hundred forty-one yards. Two more holes, I think, then I'll, and I'll stop the video for part two because it's just getting confusing. Right, I've not absolutely crushed it. I don't know where my tea's gone. I haven't absolutely crushed it, but uh, it'll be down there. There is the tea. Where's my tea gone? Is that my tea there? Ah, ah. Okay, got it. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's rather confusing, this. I mean, they've done well. Uh, you know, they've, they've obviously shut a hole down. They've had a temporary, because uh, they're doing drainage works and everything, which is, which is fine, uh, because they've got you a full 18 golf, golf, course so I've got you a full 18 golf course that's great instead of saying well we're just going to permanently shut one down we're just going to keep keep 17 open they've added another one so they've done well to do that and it's okay for members who know the course but for someone like me who hasn't got the first scooby-doo about the golf club a rather difficult a rather difficult to wear uh, manipulate your way around to navigate round, I should say, not manipulate, that's the wrong word. But no, no, um, I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying Barney Castle. It's, so far it's been a good test, it's been a good test. 
and I'm enjoying this, I really am. Uh, right, where am I at? I should be somewhere up here. Um, I'm guessing I'm somewhere up here, but I ain't seen the ball. Uh, oh, there I am, there I am, oh, I'm miles away. I've actually hit that all right, actually. I thought I already hit a hooky drawy thing. I haven't, I've, I've done all right. I've actually hit that well. It just didn't, it didn't look it when I hit it. It sounded all right, it's just it went like that. And normally I think, oh, I've lost distance with that, but actually it's not too bad, not too bad. Hold on, this isn't number 11. Then she said there's a wall. You go to the right of the wall. Right, okay. Uh, I want to be on number four. One, two, three, four, 128, okay. That's better. I thought we're not on the 11th. This, it's just confusing everyone, this. 119.4 wind helping. Okay. Okie dokie. It's going to be a 56 pitch. No, it's not. What am I doing? Pick up a 56. It's pitching wedge, you dopey, dopey dick. There we go. Right. <laughs> right. Let's just go straight at it, eh? Straight at it. Straight at it. bit less because of the wind. Ah, the wind's taking it, it's gone right. And I don't know if that's a wall, I don't know if that's a bunker, I don't know what the hell it is. But there's something nasty on the right hand side and, and the, um, the wind, the wind's took it right where it is. I couldn't tell you what it is. I don't know if it's a bunker. I don't know if it's a wall. I don't know what it is. If it's a wall, I'm knackered. If that's a wall, I'm knackered. I don't think it is. I think it's a great big bloody bunker. I just think it's a great big bloody bunker that I have probably gone in. I hope I've got over it. I hope I've got over it. I hope I gave it enough, but the wind just took it. Very, very strong wind. We're talking 16 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour winds here today. Not easy. But I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying Barnet Castle, it's really good. It took a while to get here, like 40 minutes. Oh my God, I'm enjoying the course. It's been a good test so far. Pretty open to be honest, but it is Portland, so you sort of half, it, yeah, I'm in, I'm in it. You sort of half expect it to be like this. Oh, you sort of half expect it to be like this. Uh, 50, 58, 54, must be 58, there it is. And it's a blast out. Oh, lad. This isn't easy, this is not an easy shot again. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do here. Oh, that's a good shot. My God, that's a good shot, John. Well done. Whew. Yeah, very, very pleased with that one. Right, there's a sign saying for the next tee. I think that, that's where I'm going. Yeah, fifth tee, okay. Right. Well, here we go, then I'm putting. Uh, right.
My God. I haven't been able to read the, these greens all day. No. Another three put. It's a six. It's a bloody six. I haven't been able to read to read the putts all day on this on this golf course. Some of the greens are slow, some of them are quick. Uh, the, 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 the fifth, am I playing the fifth now? Fourth, the fifth, 422. To play the fifth, this right, 400, 300. I think, I think I'm playing the fifth, I think. I think I'm playing this one now. I think. And what was the last one I played? The fourth. Stroke index eight. So we've got a six, I'm minus two. 347. Right. Using this. Hundred forty one, well, that's right. these greens some are dead slow and some of them are racy gonzales like that last one right here we go then it's down on the right hand side again a bit of a drawy one again Yeah, so I'm a little bit, a little bit drawy on the right hand side off to where the trees are. The wind has took it that way again. Very, very strong, as I've said. It's a very, very strong wind here at Barney Castle. Very, very strong wind. And oh, it's a very strong wind. It is causing me a few issues today. And the, and the pace of the greens, it's the two things, the wind and the pace of the greens has caused me issues today. <sighs> the course is tough enough without it. It's, it's tough enough without all these uh, things going on against you. But the fairways are not. Somewhere over here. It's just just on in. Uh, right, I've got it. I've got it. It's just run in. 
Okay, I'm just there. I'm gonna be blocked out. Uh, I wanna have a look at these shots, see what I've got on. Not much to be not much to be honest. It's have to be a hybrid and try and scuttle it along it as close as I can. 171. Really, is it that far? Wow, okay. down as I can and pray and hope that the third gets on. I'm minus two on myself, I know that. Yeah, the wind and the speed of the greens, the inconsistency of the speed of the greens is getting me today Barred Castle. But I'm still enjoying the course, I'm still enjoying the course, that's the main thing, it's really, it is a really nice course, two bunkers here to catch out the, the way we drive. It is a nice golf club this, and for £19, £19, just a pound bunker piece, so 20 quid, see 20 quid for this round, I mean, it, it's, it's a nice course, it is a nice course for £20, can tell you it's not. This, this is a far, far. Paul was great by the way, he was great, he, he, he gave us a map of the course and everything, so he was right, we give us a dot map, he gave us the sequence of the holes, he said this is the sequence of the holes, you've got to follow this round, unfortunately we've got maintenance work and everything, but blah blah blah, it's only 25 quid, we've reduced it to £19 plus your one pound, so 20 quid on bucket now, um, because of this, we reduced it by a fiver, uh, changing rooms, you can use the changing rooms, unlike George Washington, you can use the changing rooms. Uh, that's the port to get into the changing rooms. That's the port to get into the changing rooms, enjoy your round. Blah, blah, blah. Absolutely fantastic compared to, um, Miserable Joe there at uh, George Washington. Absolutely fantastic up there, miserable Joe there. This, this is a good golf course, it is a good golf course for the average golfer. Plenty of undulations, wind's a factor. Nicely, the bunkers are nice, they're in nice condition. Streams, there's all sorts of little hazards, natural hazards, streams, proper natural hazards, undulations. Everything that you want really out of a golf course, out of a old traditional Parkman golf course and I cannot moan about it. I cannot moan about it. I think it's great. The speed of the greens I just could try and get them a little bit more consistent but again winter for winter. Pretty immaculate for winter to be honest. Just some are slow and some are quick you've just got to take the rough and smooth. I think the next tree's over there. I'm not sure mine. But, uh, yeah. So, no, good golf club, this. So, if I'm joining. Another one for 20 on the bugger, this. Still not all the way through, yeah? Obviously. There's only about a third of the way there, but uh, very much in the mould of uh, well, 
Because uh, if it wasn't for the video, I would have let her uh, come round and everything with us. And she could have come round if she wanted to be on the video. I would have let her on, but she didn't want to be. Right. Look left. Give way to the 12th tee. Right. Well, I'm going to have a look at this uh, map again. Please see. I had a shot in that hole. That was the fifth, wasn't it? The fifth, yeah, I got a shot there. So that was a four. That brings me back to minus one. After the fifth, I play the sixth. So I've actually do one, two. So this is actually the uh, the sixth hole on the video, isn't it? Right, we'll play this hole and then. We'll stop, I think. I think we'll stop after this. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many holes I've played on the camera because I missed two out because that one was the sister and that two uh, She said, "Oh, this is your first time around the course." She says, "Oh man, teeing off before you and everything." Uh, I'll come and show you around the golf course. And I was just like, uh, uh, "Right." <laughs> I didn't have time to think. I had everything set up. I was just about ready to go. And she's like, I'll, "I'll show you around the golf course and everything." And this is your first time. I'm like, uh, I'm all right, thanks. Then she said, well, you know, it's a switch and everything, blah, 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 you might need us. And I could tell I wasn't going to get out of it that easy. I wasn't going to get out of this one that easy. So, yeah. I think she's got off the course, actually. I think she's, uh, she's never going to play a full round. Right. But for a, for a, uh, a golf course, then, wow, this looks big and it's... It looks, it looks, it actually looks really nice, this, by the way, this part of the course. This looks really nice. It looks mature. It looks, it, 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 it just looks like a proper golf course, this. This is what you expect out of a proper golf course. Absolutely brilliant compared to George Washington. This is a proper part of the course. Right, par five. 86 yards, Jesus Christ, it looks miles away, doesn't it, this hole? Wind in the bloody pet again. Uh, wow. It looks bloody miles away, the hole. It's got that perception of Hartlepool that every single hole you play looks miles away. On the flat. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've come here now, actually. At first I was saying, uh, do I really want to go to Barney Castle after George Washington, another new golf course that might be rubbish, you know. But I said, no, I said, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Barney Castle. I'm going to give it one more go with these new courses. every single hole I didn't enjoy that five on the par three mind but that's my own fault that's going to have to do with the hole that's just me Um, and going off these sort of 
by. It's nearly as good as a tea box, to be fair. It's not terrible. But, um... I don't, I don't mind so much going off winter teas like this, or winter mats. It's the temporary greens, I think, that make I've tried to get the greens in good condition and everything in winter. And we've had such good weather, you know. We've had such good weather this last couple of weeks. There's no excuse for it. There's absolutely no excuse for it. Coming into uh, February, March, when it comes to March time, we're going to get better weather. That's when it starts to pick up March time. Uh, we're going to start picking up the draft of these golf clubs, mind you, because we're getting away with murder. George Washington. How the hell they are a championship golf course with their rules and regulations and the plan to feature this course with three bunkers on the fairways and the odd bunker where the green is. How the hell that's a championship course, I just don't know. But it's absolutely disgraceful how they carry on in mind. Absolutely disgraceful with visitors. I mean, it's meant to be a hotel, right? So in the summer, they're going to have people staying in the hotel and playing the golf course. What, what are they going to say to them visitors? Oh, you've got to play with a member. How long have come from America? Where, where are we going to get a member from? No, 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 lad. You've, you've got to play with a member. got to play with a member. Oh, right, okay. You do that at bloody uh, Glen Eagles. The bloody... You go to Glen Eagles, the bloody... Uh, if, you, if they had that attitude, me bugger would play the course. But they charge 195 quid a pop for you three don't they? I'll get it for them because it's a timeshare. Here I am, yeah, just off in the first cut. <sighs> just off in the first cut. And we're looking at 294. Jesus Christ, I did I did say it. it's in the wind, the wind's right in the pet, 50 mile an hour and up the floor. Oh, this is not an easy golf course. That needs tightening up. It's come loose to the screw. Right, uh Where's my little bag of tricks? There it is. You'll find us chasing the sun. I'll just be two seconds. I'm just tightening up before hybrid. I thought it was a bit loose. You'll find us chasing the sun. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit more solid now. You'll find us chasing the sun. You'll find us chasing the sun. That's the end of the commercial break. I'm back. <laughs> right, I've got two oil up here, 292 yards. And, uh, uh no one else. Oh, hi, hi, I'm on the, uh, the six, that's right, hi. Right, here we go. Four hybrids, take it down as far as I can. 292 yards. And I sort of have, I just hit it a little bit fat. But I'm going to be down there, I'll be alright. Wind will be pet though. I reckon I've still got 150 yards left on this par 5. No, there's no easy about this walk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do no ways. I'm enjoying this course. I'm not holding anyone up really. In fact, I'm holding the bugger up. So is that a maintenance worker up there? I'll attract me. Hey, he's alright, he's not going to disturb me. Wow, this looks a very, very mature part of the course, this. I don't know how old this golf club is, but it's got some age to it, I can tell you that now. Very, very mature. Out in the countryside, this is beautiful. 
it's a bit it's a bit nostalgic for us as well because uh, this is where I went to school as a kid, Barnard Castle. Very, very nostalgic. Uh, I might go the A66 way or I'll go past the old school and have a look. It's very, very nostalgic for us this. Um, and I remember playing this course as a 12 year old kid. Uh, I finished, I finished uh, school half a day on Saturday and my dad took us and we had a round here. I remember it, I remember it well. I don't remember any of the holes, I mean I was too young, I'm too young to remember it. But I, I remember he picked us up half, half a day, got dressed at school and uh, had, a, had a round here. When I was first getting into golf, I remember it very, very well. If I'd be younger than 12, I'd probably be about... No, no, mate. No, I left Barnard Castle at 11, so I'd be about 11 year old. I'd be about 11 year old when I play this. I remember it quite well, to be honest. I remember it quite well. Right. Didn't you find her out? behind me I might actually go 54 here I might go 54 where is the 54 there is the 54 I hope I've got a shot on this hole and all because this has been quite a bloody slog to be honest. It's not been an easy, easy experience. No, she's there, she's uh, just that way now. It's not been an easy experience this hole. Yeah, I'm just off to the right here.
Well, I did so well there. Three, we tried four, five, six, I think that was a seven. I think that was a pretty seven. Well, I said that part of the video, bloody seven. It's the greens, I just can't, I can't work the greens out. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel. See you for part two. Bye for now. Bye.